All right, this is uh, going to be the Train Simulator 2021 done with the mouse cur cursor captured so that way you can see where I'm clicking as I went and reviewed the video. I'd figure, hey, why not? Since y'all like that video, we'll drag uh, another you know, set of locomotives into play. We're going to have them come up onto the siding. Uh, we'll do Victorville, California, Cajun Pass, and, and I'll show you how to set it up from scratch. So, like I said, Give me a minute to get everything set up. We're at the start screen. We're going to basically hit build. We're going to go to scenario. We're going to do a free roam on Cajun Pass. And we're going to be in Victorville. And we're going to have two trains bump through. We're going to have one park. And then, you know, we'll have another one come down. You know, come through while the other one's parking. And observe it. You know what I'm saying? Just to give you an idea. It's like a train set, in a sense, you know. And I got Train Simulator because I like train sets. But I don't ever. Ha I've never had the life to have a train board, and N scale and H scales are hard to maintain. And that's what got me started. That's that's why I went to Arduinos because I wanted to automate, you know, a, an H scale or an N scale train set. And then I was like, nah, there's plenty of other people that have already done that. And so, I've been in Train Simulator for a very long time. Let's put it that way. I've been in a row. I've been a Railworks person uh, in the World Builder for a very long time. And let me tell you, it's very easy to make the World Builder very upset <laughs> one wrong click and boy do things get crazy in a world builder you know the build so anyway like I said I'm gonna we'll set it up in fact I'll just click us through and get it set in um, so here we go so we're gonna click on scenario and then we're gonna go down click on Cajun Pack we have this one already ready to go. So we already have the one set of trains ready to go. They're already sitting down there, so now we're gonna get a second set of trains. So, and mine's, uh, in fact, we could just uh, use the Dash 9s at Victorville, one that I have set up ready to go. So you can see it's under free roam, Cajun Pass. And we're gonna edit it. We're gonna say, hey, let's bring some trains in. So we're gonna load, we'll come back. All right, we come back, and we're getting ready to, we're in the scenario, so we're going to go in and uh, put our trains in, so we'll, and get them to do what they want, you know what I'm saying? Cloudy, that's fine, we're just going to take everything as is, and no, this is uh, one of my favorite maps. For demonstrating the Dash 9s and intermodals, you know, totally awesome, you know what I'm saying? So, as a train foamer, airplane foamer. Uh, that's why I do this. So, and I figured other people need to see this content because there's not a lot of it on YouTube from what I've seen so far. <clears throat> Gotta remember I can mute that. And you can see how many trains I have involved in my layout uh, just by looking at the left hand side. And uh, like I said, uh, let's get some trains added to it. Um, I don't think this one has any, but we're gonna double check anyways. So we'll be back in a few. Pretty cool, right? Dash nines. Mwah. Right, take care of mucho, take care of mucho, take care of mucho, and I got the Norfolk Southern. That's why I got that one. I mean, that's just just awesome, you know, for for uh, early morning. Back in a sec. All right, here we got the Amtrak set up, ready to go. Phase three, uh, and Victor Roller, where you have it up at the one siding. You can see like we did yesterday. We have Bud Bundy and Amtrak right here. Our trains are down to the south and the lower part of Victorville. So this will be the Amtrak that's going to go through. As you can see, it has nothing, no destination over here. So nothing has been clicked. We're going to fill that in. So then we're going to basically say, hey, then we're going to send it way down that track so you don't have to sit and follow me. I'm just going to unpause it when I get to the marker so I can show you what to click on. But to tell this train, this one right here, the one I'm on, Bud Bundy, we're gonna say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna tell you to go down. We're gonna tell it to go far. Let's put it that way. So anyway, we'll be back in a few. Okay, as you see, the blank has not been filled in yet. So, like I said, you can even click on it again if need be. But if we found our track marker, so we're gonna basically bring it down to this one right here, as you can see with the cursor. So we're gonna click. And you see how it just filled it right in? So Lugo track one. So we're basically going to send the M track all the way down to this track mark. And it's way down there, let me tell you. It's way down there. Anywho, 
like I said, that's how you basically tell the train where to go. So we're going to send Bud Bundy to Amtrak to Lugo Track 1, and we'll have it stop and wait. So we'll go from there. Anywho, we'll be back. But that's how you get the train basically go to where it's supposed to go. Uh, like, basically a train set. So this is train number one getting ready to do its thing. And you're wondering, okay, so now i got an empty consist because this is the train that's going to come bumping through. Uh, and it's got its driver. Uh, how do you get it to, how do you, you know, like for the TX cars, how do you fill them all in at one spot? So in other words, you place all your empty cars first. And in the bottom left-hand corner, be careful with this, but make sure you're underneath the, the you know, wagon icon. And click the consist button right here, because we're going to select the whole thing. And when you do that, at that point in time, if you double-click on one of these cars, if you just double-click, you see how the whole train's now highlighted? You can come over here and you can hit the checkbox and you can highlight the entire consist. So that's one of the extra creature features I figured out uh, when moving, you know, weights and payloads through here, you know, tonnage and stuff of that nature. So, yeah, you can place a ton of empties and then, you know, click the whole thing and it'll fill the whole entire, th entire thing. And you can see our driver has no, our driver horsepower has no destination. So we're going to fill that in and for you. So I'm going to go up to the marker, fill it in for you. We'll go from there. So that way at least you've seen two of them uh, filled in and we'll just sit and watch them do their thing. You know what I'm saying? So other than that, we'll be back in a few seconds. You know, I pause, you know, and I go and I set it up. Like I said, I go, I, I speed up the track to the marker, to the orange marker so I can click on it so that way I can basically tell this train where to go. So other than that, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to come back, back in a sec. All right, so we're at the track mark on the siding. We're going to basically tell it, hey, can you make your way to this track point right here, just next to this coal loadout right here? When it's quite far away, it's not too far, but so we're going to highlight it. So we're going to highlight this first, set the destination, and it says Oregrande siding, you know, track five. So it's ready to go. So in all intents and purposes, our trains are ready for the play, you know, ready for the you know, run. So here we go. Like I said, well, I'm going to go back to where the dash nines are sitting and we're going to watch, in theory, watch two trains go by. One coming from one direction, one coming from another direction. And we'll go from there. Like I said, this is hard. It's, this is hard stuff to do. But this is how you do it. So, and it was a pain in the butt to figure out at first. But these you can put your down yourself by putting down the track markers. That's more sophisticated. Like I said, I tried to just already use what's there for the uh, illustration of tutorials and stuff of that nature. So, like I said, uh, we're going to make the train come up to that siding and hopefully stop. We'll see. And uh, proof's in the pudding, right? All right, here we go. All the trains are good to go. So, let's see. There's Bud Bundy. There's horsepower. So both train, Bud Bundy's coming from the left and horsepower's coming from the right. And we can hang out with the Dash 9s, right? Beautiful. Mm. Take care of the Mutual. Pretend that. Uh, how about shoe string? <laughs> it's got his little tag on that box. <laughs> we'll get in the we'll get in the future, we'll get into that. So we got horsepower coming from the right. Bud Bundy and Amtrak coming from the left. Oh, and a shout out to Montana Rail Fanning. So I'll have to do some more videos of yours. I haven't done anything yet, just been tired. Busy working. So, like I said. Here goes Bud Bundy. And horsepower should be along any any moment. Now this is is train prawn at its finest, so and that's what we do, entertain.
Entertain the world. Horsepower should be along any second. So you can see that I have one come from the left, go to the right. So here's horsepower coming from the right, going to the left. And yes, we're in free roam. So how's that for cooler what? That's how you add traffic to free roam. So yeah, I can go and drive any one of those locomotives just by clicking on it and take it for a spin. But I'm just illustrating a point of free roam and having trains placed in and operating properly. You know what I'm saying? You don't see none of those trains. Um, you notice how they flow just beautifully. So anywho, that's how you add. That's two trains, one coming in one direction. Like I said, pay attention to the traffic on that map. You know, you know mains. You know which ones are come. You know which ones are coming mains and which ones are going mains in a sense. Which ones are east, which ones are west, or north or south. But once, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. And we'll just show off the dash nines, and then that'll be the end of the tutorial. So if I click on this, this dash nine, it'll take off and off it goes. And I was doing it for, you know, testing horsepower, you know, and loads. That's a long intermodal. So anywho, shout out to Hope Stoke, who's been gone for a very long time. Shout out to the family and stuff of that nature. God rest in peace, 2017. And shout out to Hobo Shoestring. I do keep a very watchful eye on him. You know how the world is. Go watch the Red Green Show. Women don't find a handsome. You know, what, you know what Red Green says, right? So... Other than that, peace out, much love. Like I said, te quiero mucho. And gotta say hello to Burlington, Northern Santa Fe, right? North Folk Southern. Those are the ones I kind of grew up with in a sense, CSX. So anyway, peace, love.